Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's George Harrison, right? Remember me? And I just thought of Dark Horse running on a dark race course. Thought, ah, sounds like a song. And somebody needed a name for a company. Said, okay, Dark Horse. Well, really, Dark Horse came into existence in order to give myself the chance to become an artist again. I'm going to make a record like something like I, 20 years ago, just like a rock and roll band making a record. We had real saxes and real guitars, real pianos, real drums, real people playing real songs. You know, it's trying to put all the past that's been accumulated into something new and make it sound like now. Originally they were done for vinyl, make a much better um, digital version of it. So I think to get them all back in the shops, nice and crisp and clean and fresh. Surprise, hopefully, maybe some nice tunes, something to give you a smile. Although I had a laugh, personally, and doing the music, I had a laugh. I was so young when I was born, my eyes could not yet see. And by the time my first door... It could have been called Spot the Loony. <laughs> What I always felt is that if I'm me and I make this kind of music, it's wrong if I should try to fashion my songs or my music to suit a market. And I think that kind of thing was happening in the 70s. It's like somebody once said, take me as I am or let me go. You just have to make, um, you know, just sense of humor with it. <laughs> You couldn't make an ex beatle record without having Wingo, could you? It's like a built-in thing. If I play a song to Ringo, I don't need to say to him, you know, I want it to go like this. I just play it and he joins in. He just gets his sticks and he just does it and it sounds just like Ringo and um, you can hold the rock steady all day long. The microscopes that magnified the tears Studied once and all. Oh yeah, my new album's much better than anything the Beatles ever did. Buy your coffee now. Precious words drift away from the meaning I think that's one good thing about songs. You can write in songs, you can have little lines in songs that actually says what you feel. Everybody dreams of being famous and rich and famous. Once you get rich and famous and you think, this isn't it, there's still something missing now. And it doesn't matter how much money or property or whatever you've got, unless you're happy in your heart, and then uh, that's it. And unfortunately, you can never gain perfect happiness unless you've got that state of consciousness that enables that. In the end, you're trying to find God.
how did the Japan gig come about in the first place? It was all Eric's idea and his idea to go to Japan, really. <laughs> I've been friends with Eric for years and I think I always will be. He's a lovely fella and I love him very dearly. Hello. It's nice to be here again. Well, I've always had the taste for live performances in some way. I always really enjoyed in our early days before we got too famous. We used to play clubs and, and uh, that kind of stuff all the time, you know. And it was fun, it was fun, but it's good because you get to play and you get to get quite good on your instrument. I like being in a band. That's fun, just playing in a band, really. Let me tell you how it will be. This one for you, 19 for me. And I'm the tax man. Yeah, I'm the tax man. Everything, everything has changed over 25 years. First of all, I'm much younger now than I used to be there. I think I can sing better, I can play better, and I can be a happier person. Uh, everything's changed. It's good to be shown, you may make it all your own. You won't greet that time. While you're out looking for class He's a great songwriter, a great musician, a very unique man, and I always thought of George as being a little like the elder brother that I never had, so I respect his, his judgment uh, and his uh, values, and I think he's a wonderful man. And I like the way he bends the strings too. I mean, he plays a great slide player. I don't do dance steps or somersaults or anything like that. You know, all I do is stand there and sing. There was the video for Got My Mind Set On You, which has uh, the backflip, the famous backflip. Now, to me, that is hysterical because if anybody knows me, they know the last thing I'm going to do is a backflip and then dance like Michael Jackson or whatever. But to put that in there, in that context, and do it in a way where, it, you know, most people think it's actually me, and that's, it cracks me up, you know. Do it, do it right. I much prefer to be an artist. <laughs> where I can um, just write a little tune and make a record. play a bit of guitar, write a few tunes, make a few movies, but none of that's really me. The real me is something else. Can you tell us? No, you, you have to figure that out. <laughs> 